Come on and get on down to the city, city. where the trains all clatter through. Hey, look at that driver driving. Driver. Wanna ride that train on blue? Me too. I'm looking way up high to the windy. Take a peek from inside view. All those people busy working. Busy working. I wanna see what they all do. Come on, let's weave round the market. Until you hear that color blue. Everybody's busy selling. Busy selling. I wanna buy me something new. Under the station, down where the pigeons project coo. Take a taxi ride through the river. I wanna drive down the avenue. Hey, look at those buses gleaming. They look so clean and spanking new. All lined up to drive around the city. What men ting that bell to the loo. I'm gonna ride on right to the school stop where the children hurry through. Sit down, the teachers teach it. I'd love to learn a thing or two. Me too. I love to skip in River City. River City. Goodbye. I love seven o'clock. Come on and get on down to the city, where the ferry boat sails through. Time to call on Granny Murray. She'd love to say hello to you. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Gary <laughs> and we've got Rachel. But don't just sit there, sausages. Come on, let's have some fun. What's Granny Murray got on her shelves today? Let's put them down here. Make tunnels. OK, then. We'll build two tunnels. We'll see who can go under the tunnels the fastest. One, two, three, go! Oh, it was a draw. You are both so fast. Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Gary. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? It's Samson with Dr Juno. Hello there. Dr. Joe. Oh, and my Samson boy. Oh, come and say hello to Samson. He loves coming here, Granny Murray. Oh, and we love having him. Well, I think that's enough patting. Cheer basket, Samson. Good boy. Oh, oh, here. Why don't you two dress Claude up in all the blankets and sheets, eh? Oh, blankets. That sounds cosy. Should we take a comfy seat for a minute? Why not? <laughs> So, have you got a busy day planned at the hospital? Oh, I hope not too busy. Oh, I really need to tidy up my office. It's always such a mess. Do you know what? I have no idea where all the junk comes from. Maybe there's a wee messy fairy flying about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, there's a big rugby tournament this afternoon on River Sea Green. <gasps> Nurse Hendry's playing. Oh, maybe it would be fun to take the children and Samson along to watch. Oh, I love watching rugby. The way the ball gets passed around and the players in the scrum. Oh, I just like watching the big chaps skidding around in the mud, getting covered in dirt. <laughs> oh, it all comes out in the wash anyway. A washing machine works wonders. Oh, look at Claude. Oh, well done, my darling. Oh, you look like a big, colourful warrior, Claude. Oh, oh, I better get to work. Oh, before you go, give Samson this ball to play with. Oh, it's fantastic. It's the shape of a rugby ball. Actually, do you mind if I use this to play with Samson later, Granny Murray? Help yourself. Take it away with you. Oh, thanks. Be a good boy for Granny Murray, Samson. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Come on, then. Just remember, a washing machine can work wonders. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep an eye on Dr Juno and make sure she goes the right way to work.
Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Left. Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, policeman. Hello, bus. <laughs> Hello, postman. Hello shops. Hello lamppost. Hello stop. For that. Now what? Oh yes, I need to get my work clothes on. All dressed and ready to go. I'll just put Samson's toy here so I don't forget it. Oh dear, my desk is a right mess. Actually, the whole office is a mess. I know. I'll shove these in the corner for a start. What's this? Well, that can go in the junk pile too. Ah, oh, that's much better. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Yeah. Oh must be all that rugby practice you do, Nurse Hendry. Oh, but really, we must tidy this whole place up. Look at this laundry bag. It's in the way. I'm using a corner of my office to dump all this junk. I'll show you. Well, this can go in this junk. Wait! Whoa! What was all that about? Didn't want to get my rugby kit all crumpled. Oh. Uh, I'm trying to tidy my desk, actually. Anyway, let's tidy the waiting room instead. Are you coming to watch the match? Oh, I wish I could, but I wouldn't have finished my shift by then. Oh, Glenda Murray's coming, though. Great. Oh, that's much tidier. More mess. Come on. Any more junk you find goes here, OK? OK, OK. Must get on. Oh, I can't wait to play with you later, Samson. I love to skip. Yes, I am. Woo! Can Granny Murray have that minute, darling? Woo! Good girl. We'll go Samson in the shop, will we? Aha! Aha! <laughs> Wee! Samson! Bitch! <laughs> Bitch, Samson! Isn't he good? Samson! Yeah. Good boy, good boy. Oh, you like that game, don't you, Samson? And you can play it with Dr. Juno when she comes home from work. Yes, what? <laughs> Dr. Juno, can you come and take a look at a young man who's cut his head? Oh, yes, of course. So what happened to you then, Sean? Let's have a look. OK. We'll soon have you patched up. Let's get these. These are forceps. I'm going to wipe the blood off your forehead, OK? Get rid of some of the blood. Nice and gentle. Is it sore? OK. There we go. Thank you. Nice and easy. There. OK, there you are. Dust your head all cleaned up. All you need to do is give your T-shirt a good wash when you get home, OK? Thank you, Doctor. Whoa! Oh, now what? Rudy! <laughs> Hello, Doc. Just me. I just um, came through and went clattering into this. Oh, another bag of laundry. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Rudy. Come on. Are you right? Yeah, I just stubbed me toe. I'll live. What are you doing here, anyway? I'm just visiting a friend of mine, Mavis. She's having an operation. Oh, she loved those flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some great jokes for her, too. Doctor, doctor, I think I'm turning into a sheep. That's bad news. <laughs> 
<laughs> Bear. <laughs> I'll see you later, Doc. Bye, Rudy. Oh, oh well, we better get this place cleaned up. OK, now to some hard work. So exciting in the hospital is where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be here. It's so exciting in the hospital. Trolleys gliding patients through the corridors. Flashing blue lights right up to the door. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. Don't worry, I'll put it in the corner. Oh, thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, Mickey John, what have you got that on for? I'm playing in the rugby match this afternoon with Nurse Henry. I'm scrum half. Into the scrum. The ball's thrown out to Mickey John. He swerves to avoid a tackle. He's heading towards the line. He splats into the mud and it's down. Mickey John has won the match with a superb try. Very good. Oh, could you keep the noise down a bit, please? All right, sorry. I wait for Nurse Henry in the waiting room. Shh. Mickey John's waiting for you in the waiting room. All right, thanks. I better get ready for the match. Oh, you're going to enjoy the rugby match, Samson. These doll's clothes are filthy. Oh, really, scrub it. Get those bubbles in and pass it on to Rachel. That's the way good girl. Oh, and you too, Samson. Well done. You've got a healthy appetite. Dr Juno will be pleased. <laughs> oh, good. You're still around. I wanted to come and wish you good luck for the match. Oh, thanks, Dr Juno. But if we don't get a move on, we're going to be late for the kickoff. Where can Nurse Henry have got to? Oh, there you both are. Oh. There's a bit of a problem. Wow, don't you look fantastic? The rugby kit really suits you. Thanks, but you see, the thing is... Oh, it's a shame it's going to get muddy, though. Yes, listen, I need to talk to you. There's a bit of a crisis on the wards. They've run out of clean sheets, and the laundry say they haven't any of the dirty sheets to wash. They've all gone missing. What? And I can't do anything about it, because me and Mickey John have to go right now. That's so... right, so let's go! Sorry, you're going to have to sort all out yourself. Bye. <sighs> oh, my goodness. I've been working really hard all day. Now I have a big problem. None of the wards have any clean sheets. The whole hospital has not got any clean sheets. How did that happen? Where did the time go? At 7 o'clock, I dropped off Samson at Granny Murray's. I told her all about the big rugby match at River Sea Green this afternoon. At 8 o'clock, I got to work and started to tidy up my office. I put all the junk in the corner. At 9 o'clock, I tripped over a bag of laundry. Luckily, Nurse Hendry caught me. The bag was blocking the corridor, so I put it on the junk pile in the corner of my office. At 10 o'clock, I treated a young man with a cut on his head. Suddenly, there was a noise from the corridor. It was Rudy. He tripped over yet another bag of laundry, so that went onto the junk pile too. At 1 o'clock, Mickey John arrived in his rugby gear. He'd come to meet Nurse Hendry because they were off to play in a rugby match. At 2 o'clock, Mickey John and Nurse Hendry left for the match. But there was a problem. The hospital had run out of clean sheets for the beds. Now remember, a washing machine can work wonders. A washing machine can work wonders, but only if the laundry's in it. And not in my office. 
All the dirty laundry is right here. Oh, what shall I do? I know. Take the laundry to the washing machine. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to be the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee. Bed's made and ready for action. Granny Murray was right about the washing machines working wonders. All the patients have clean, crisp sheets for their beds. Oh, the rugby match must have started by now, Samson. Give a big, woofy cheer to Mickey John and Nurse Henry for me. Off my mind. <laughs> I think my hands will need a good wash too. <laughs> oh, Samson, Doctor Juno would be having a great time here, wouldn't she? Doctor Juno, come and see who's here, Samson. Hello, Samson. Uh -huh. Good boy. Look at that wagging tail. Samson would like to say thank you, Granny Murray, and thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. A washing machine can work wonders. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on now, you'll want to be all. Come on, boy. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, baking, moving, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in sheets and blankets because they needed to be tidied off the floor. Dr. Juno dropped Samson off and told me about a rugby match. I thought it would be fun to go and watch it later. We took Samson out to the park for a ball game. Then we watched Mickey John and Nurse Henry play in the rugby match. It was really exciting and all the players got covered in mud. But it didn't matter because a washing machine can work wonders. After all, a washing machine saved the day for the patients in Dr Juno's hospital. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. I love to sit in every single, every single pie. I love to sit in every single, every single pie for me. Come on and get on down to the city. city. Where the fairy folks dance the blues. Time to call on Granny Marie. She'd love to.